chapter four, and we are going to look at the source code files over these first four sections. Some of them we will just view on the screen. For example, as I've showed you, um, I'm going to use this preview panel, and I'm just going to talk through some of these programs. And this is, remember, a good way for you to go through all of the examples from the textbook and see, um, look for, you know, examples that you might need. And so um, there's always a comment up here that tells what the program is doing. So this one displays values for C++ to represent true and false. So it's just showing you true value, x is less than 10, and it would return a 1 or a 0 for the true and the false. So some of these first ones are just testing out some of the comparison operators. This particular program averages three test scores, so it's very similar to some of the code that you are asked to do in Chapter 3. Please pay attention to the fact that it's using the C out fixed show point set precision 1 in order to do output to one decimal place. Also notice that we have integer scores here. And so if we go ahead and calculate this average, this is actually one that we might run. So I'm going to go ahead and edit it with Notepad++ and we are going to put it into a project. When I go and do the projects for this particular video set of videos, I am going to use Visual Studio just to get you more comfortable with it if you're not already using it. I like to choose Empty Project, and I'm just going to put Chapter 4 Examples as my project name. Pay attention to where it's being stored. This is being stored in repos. You can change that if you like. I don't remember. I'm just going to leave it there. I know where it's at then. And so when we first start that project, now since I copied the code over to Notepad++, I can just come over here, select all, control A, copy, control C, and go back to Visual Studio once it loads and paste that in. One common mistake that happens when you're using Visual Studio to start with is after you create a new project, sometimes you forget to add this uh, new item. So you need to go to source files, right click, add new item, and this is going to be chapter four um, examples. And I might end up copying and pasting some different code in here as um, we work with this. And we will see what this particular program produces. I wanted to look at this one because it looks like it's going to produce what I call an integer division error. When I'm working in this environment, I like to put in my system pause in order to hold the screen open on the console. And then um, let's go ahead and execute this program to see what's going to happen. It's supposed to average those three scores, and so it wants us to enter three scores. So I should have created some test data before I began so I would know what some of my scores were going to be. So I'm going to enter 50, 60, 70 for my scores, press enter, and it says my average was 60. Well, that that's true. Um, it doesn't test whether or not there's data after the decimal point, so I want to execute that code again because I want to remember for choosing appropriate test data, we need to maybe have some scores that are not going to come out to be whole numbers, etc. So let's try some other ones. And now it says my average is some weird number. I have no idea what that average is. That actually introduces a really good idea because notice how I inputted my data. I used commas. And it didn't tell me here to input my data um, with spaces or whatever. So it's actually taking 55.5. Well, actually, if I go back and take a look at my data, I have no idea how it's entering this data because the scores were supposed to be integers and I inputted doubles. So there's a debugging technique that you could use and you could actually echo. Um, I'm going to just see out score one and I'm going to output a space or I could do a, a tab and then I could output score two and then do another tab, etc. And this is going to let me see what it entered for my three scores. I'm kind of curious. What did it actually enter? 
I need to change this to score one. And I would probably put an end L here. So it should output or echo my score. So I'm going to go back and glance. I did something like 55.5, 65, 73. This is a good example of why a good prompt is necessary because it didn't tell me to input my data separated by spaces. I won't remember exactly what that data was, but I'll do something similar. And we'll see with this what's called an echo check. So I did something like 55.5, oops, uh, 55 comma 5. I'll do comma 23.5 or something like that and press enter. So now if I take a look at my echo check, remember this is score 1, score 2, score 3. So whenever something's going bonkers in your program, that's a technique that you can try is like to um, do an echo check. So it's inputting 55 and then what it's doing is it's picking up this comma as the next piece of data and then it's trying to, I would have thought that maybe it would have put 5 in here as the next piece of data, but it didn't, it just, it didn't know what to do, okay? If we run the program again and input data like that, but let's input integer, integer, double, or maybe a double and then an integer. So let's do the 55.5 space, 23 space, I'll say 50, and press enter. Now it's still kind of producing bad results, even though I have three numbers here. And the reason for that is I'm supposed to be entering an integer, an integer, and an integer. So again, it's trying to pick up this decimal point and it assigns it a value of zero. And I don't know what it's doing here because it's not picking up the rest of the line that it's supposed to. Okay. So you need to, if you want them to input integers, you need to tell them to input integers. So 35, 47, 68, press enter, then it calculates an average. Now if I were to do a desk check, my desk check yield that that is supposed to be 50. I had just picked three numbers and picked three that turned out to have an average of 50. I want to pick numbers that's not going to have an average of 50. I want to have a decimal result. And so let's pick 23 and we will pick 17 and I need to pick maybe another odd number so let's say 27 my desk check for that data should be 22.3 and it outputs 22.3 okay so a lesson on inputting and it not always being what you expect so make sure that you provide proper instructions I was a little bit, I didn't know that if it would do the correct um, division because we had an integer plus an integer plus an integer and I divided by three. But the reason that it does, the reason I don't have to use a static cast here to change my integers to a double is because I decided to divide by 3.0. And what that does is that takes an integer divided by a double, which then yields a double. So this particular program is going to work successfully as long as I input the correct data to start with.